Welcome to the Public Voice Salon. We're an open dialogue on education, the arts, and social change. And we're here at Judson Memorial Church, which is a very, very special place. And they, uh, there was a meeting tonight of the Pete Seeger organization called Clearwater. This is the New York City Friends of Clearwater, and they are carrying on the tradition of Pete Seeger in that activism and that tradition of music and activism. And we have our guest speaker at the meeting tonight. She's going to introduce herself. and She's trying to clean up the Bronx River. So tell our audience a little bit about what's going on on the Bronx River. Great, thank you so much. I'm Michelle Lupke. I'm the Director of Environmental Stewardship with the Bronx River Alliance. Mm. We have a number of different projects that we work on. We have five different program areas, um, ecology and restoration, education, outreach, mm. recreation, mm. and the Greenway program. And we have been doing a lot of hard work. We were founded in 2001, and we, our mission is to protect, improve, and restore the Bronx mm. River mm. for the communities through which it flows. And it's 24 miles long. It's oh. the only freshwater river in New York City. Wow. It starts up at the Kensico Reservoir in Valhalla, New York, and it flows all the way down to Soundview Park, down into the East River and the Long Island Sound. And mm -hmm. it was at the turn of the 1900s, it was so clean, they thought about using it as a water source for New York City, but only a decade later, it had already been transformed into an open sewer. And so we have been abusing this river for a long time. And we are still trying to, uh, in the 1970s and the, and the 90s, they were pulling out cars. We are still pulling out garbage out of the river. It's just now it's plastic and styrofoam, wow. but we still are fighting sewage. So what's your thoughts about Pete Seeger and his organization? And Bobby Kennedy has been trying to clean up the Hudson River as well. And what's going on today in 2000? 2018 with Donald Trump in the White House and the kind of backlash against the EPA. Right. What are your thoughts on that? So I really think that a lot of those, um, Pete Seeger, Bobby Kennedy, all of those um, people really were paved the way for a lot of the groups now that exist. Riverkeeper is a great organization. Uh, we work with them a lot. Clearwater is a great organization. Um, they do a lot of great work on the Hudson River and, and we're trying to do similar types of work on the Bronx River as well. 
Well, well yeah. thank you so much for being our guest. Yeah. And how, how did the lecture go? How did you feel about the lecture? You gave a lecture tonight. It was wonderful, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah there were a lot of really great questions okay. and, and a lot of interested people who wanted to know more information. And that was pretty fantastic to see what an engaged audience it was. And I really hope I see a lot of these people out and they join us and come be volunteers. This was your first time ever at the Clearwater, at the meeting here at yes. Judson Church, at the monthly meeting for New York City Clearwater. And this is our first time filming here as well. So we're going to go back inside and capture some more of the yeah. community, but we wanted to get you as the speaker as well. So thank I hear, you. I hear there's going to be singing, so you don't want to miss we that. don't want to miss that. Exactly. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Coming events on the Bronx River, okay. Oh, yeah. On uh, July 27th, we will be having our Community Fridays event. Okay. It will be um, free paddling uh, at 4 p.m. Uh, at Concrete Plant Park. There will be a movie at 8 p.m. and there will be tours of the Foodway, which is, um, we've transformed that park into um, basically gardens and um, just a beautiful opportunity for the community to find out about all the different food resources that we have. Um, we've got a, an eco day on August 18th where we're going to be removing invasive species and planting natives. We have um, Boogie Up the Bronx River, a, a 24 mile bike ride along the Greenway along the river, um, and then a bunch of other events including Project Waste, our trash assessment and abatement program, and all of that can be found on our website which is bronxriver.org and just click on our calendar of events and it will lead you straight to all the different opportunities to get involved. Thank you so much, you. and keep up your great work. Thank you, okay. you too. Okay. So we're going to do some singing a little bit, as Pete Seeger would love us to do, right? But before that, we just want to hear a little bit from the director of this New York City Friends for Clearwater. Uh, tell us your name, sir. Hi, I'm Talbot Katz. I'm uh, currently the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, president of the New York City Friends of Clearwater. Um, what to say? So, uh, Friends of Clearwater has been around for about 40 years, uh, since the mid-70s, uh, and we were started as uh, what's called a sloop club of the Hudson River Sloop Clearwater organization. And Clearwater, um, of course, there's the sloop, which is this wonderful big boat. Do we have a picture of the of the sloop? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that uh, set, first set sail in 1969, so almost 50 years ago. And, and wow. yeah, there. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, it was a, creating the Clearwater was a community effort. Mm. Uh, Pete Seeger, of course, was the, uh, the founder and inspiration. But what he did was he went all up and down the Hudson, mm. playing house concerts mm. and getting people involved uh, with the idea that that we need to clean up the river and having this great wonderful boat going around sailing on the river like it did back in the 19th century the the, the great sloops of the hudson uh, would be a wonderful way to bring people to the river to educate them about the river and so that's what started back uh, back then in 1969 and uh, pete and clearwater also thought well there shouldn't be just one boat, there should be boats and, and people with boats all up and down the river, and that was the idea of the sloop clubs. And many of the sloop clubs um, do have their own boats. We're in, in here in New York City, it's not the most practical thing for us to have our own boat, uh, but we certainly encourage people to get out to the water, and uh, uh, Donna Stein, who is uh, uh, a past president of, of Friends of Clearwater, has gotten us involved with uh, kayaking, okay. uh, because that's one of her uh, great uh, uh, passions. Um, so we uh, we also have these meetings like we have tonight every month uh, here at the Judson Community Church. Oh, let's let's pan around the room, honey. Let's see who's in the room. Let's just yeah, okay. Um, and is this your typical turnout for a meeting, or is it uh, well it, summer? It's like okay. Right, yeah. So so you, you may have hit a bit of a summer lull here, okay, but okay. Uh, but it's a it's a it's a spirited crowd. So they they make up for. Uh, in, uh, in in great uh, 
joie de vivre, what, what we may lack in numbers this, this evening. So let me just but tell you about us a little bit, okay? So we're, we're, we're an open dialogue on education, the arts, and social change. We like to combine those three categories. We think they all kind of mix and overlap and intersect. So you guys are a great mix for us because there's the education piece, there's the arts with the singing, right? And then there's obviously the social change. The other thing we feel very strongly about as a show is building community. Right, and I think that's the spirit that we want to feel in groups like this, and we want this going out to the audience and across America that people feel hopeless and they feel disconnected and isolated. They can get together in their communities. They can sing. They could share ideas about a better world, a more loving world, a more kind world, a more peaceful world. And you guys are the remnants of that '60s generation, right? This is like the, we, we in some way, the remnant. Well, not the remnant. <laughs> <laughs> Building on the new, the new. I mean, do you, what about the, you know... But, but I, I want to say that, 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 that in fact, that, that, yeah. that Clearwater very much harmonizes with, with, with your vision because we often talk about the three-legged stool of education, advocacy, and celebration. So that's, that's, one, that's what, what we bring, the, you know, the education part, teaching people about the river and the environment. Uh, the celebration part, of course, is uh, all the music and, and, uh, and singing and arts. And then advocacy is, is that we're, it's very important for us to, uh, to be a strong voice for the environment. Uh, and all of that together def definitely is a community building operation. What about Donna? She has a strong voice. Let's go say hello, a few words uh, to Donna. You wanna, uh, okay, yes. Right. Come and join us. Yeah, we we like everyone to get together. Everybody can cut. You know, anybody wants to say, sure, don't, don't don't be together. We can be together as a community. We can be. Come on. Let's do Do okay, okay, Donna. So yeah, hello. Okay, well, I'm yes. Donna Stein. Uh, and as Talbot said, I have been the president of New York City Friends of Clearwater. I have been uh, various officer of various kinds. Uh, I've also, uh, for this will be the 10th year uh, that I am producing the uh, New York City Friends of Clearwater 10th annual water festival. Woo! All right. Every year, every year we have an honoree. And every year we have a theme. The theme this year is Stone Soup Revival, Caring, Sharing, and Community. Mm. It's going to be September 16th. We welcome you to come. All right. <laughs> and um, we are uh, honoring Toshi Seeger. Oh, Pete, Pete Seeger's, Pete yeah. Seeger's partner in, in, in all things clear order <laughs> and life. We saw this movie 10 years ago, the Pete Seeger documentary, my wife and I, and we just were totally blown away. And we said, Cause this is a great film that people should see and, and, and get together in the spirit of that time because we need to make a better world, right? We have a sort of going backwards now with, with in some ways with the current administration. So how, how can we really pull together and, 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 and join and encourage our audience to, to sort of is this just this, one of these rare things at Judson Church in, in New York and with, with lefties and we know and this kind of, or is this something that could spread across the country? Are the millennials into this too? Are they young people? Yeah. First of all, yeah. we don't want to characterize ourselves as lefties okay. because we all, we do, we, we are yes. um, multi-generational, multicultural. We okay. want to get more, we want to be, okay. have more generation, multi-generations <laughs> in, involved. Uh, and we we welcome new ways of looking at things and so that we can get the younger generation in. So we're always exploring that way. And I think a lot of organizations uh, that have been around for a long time like we have uh, are feeling that same need to bring in young people and uh, so yeah, so we'd like to like explore that some more, uh, but yes. yeah. And I know Bruce Springsteen is a big fan of Pete Seeger too. Is he still in the loop, kind of, with the Clearwater? Uh, Pete it had uh, Pete yeah. and it was a big influence on so on, many uh, musicians, yeah, yeah. and they were friends. Now. He's on yeah. But uh, but he hasn't been an integral part of the revivals, okay. all right. We but uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, 
but we we let who doesn't love yeah. Bruce Springsteen. All right. <laughs> if you can get him, please tell him to come on over. One of my favorite songs is If I Had a Hammer, I'd Hammer in the Morning, I'd Hammer in the Evening, All Over This Land, I'd Hammer Out Danger, I'd Hammer Out Warning, I'd Hammer Out a Love Between My Brothers. And my sisters all over this land. Ooh. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning. He's the voice. I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land. I'd ring out danger. My brothers and my sisters all over this land. Ooh, if I had a song, I'd sing it in the morning. I'd sing it in the evening all over this land. I sing out danger. My brothers and my sisters all over this land. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Come on, come on. If I got a hammer and I've got a bell and I got a ceiling all over this land. It's a bell of love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, what? You know, okay. it, that, 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 thank you, Joel, for the accompaniment. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Talbot, for that wonderful voice. Um, wow. You know, the. I always complain, I say, like, nobody wants to hear me sing. Oh. All right. But then, you know, it, Pete Seeger's words ring out in my head that uh, there is no, I, I am, I'm paraphrasing. No bad voices. But there is no, no, no bad, there is no bad voice. Yes. Everybody can sing. Correct. Everybody can sing, should sing. Yes. Get out there and, and yes. sing because let your voices be heard. heard. Uh, right? So the other reason we have this show, and we call it the Public Voice Salon, because we want to give people a voice. And I used to be very shy, believe it or not, when I was younger. And uh, through becoming a teacher, and a teacher, an English teacher actually, helping to inspire my students to find their voices, then I helped to f that helped me to find my voice. And I began to see the connection between democracy and public voice. That when people are silenced, okay, when they don't speak out, against injustice, then we lose our, our democratic system. So, you know, shyness is not an option anymore in some way. You know? and, and so we want to be very gentle with our show. We want to be very, people who haven't seen themselves as being on television, right? We, we look at TV and we see all these talking heads and we say, oh my God, it would be frightening to be on a TV show, right? To sound like that. No, we want real people real people to come have things to with say all with all their flaws sing their song everybody has a story everybody has a song and we want to do that to empower and inspire people to come on and so that's why like Pete Seeger is one of our inspirations and so to be here is just such a joy and pleasure to be with you all now what what, what is one of the other uh, great standard classics of, of Pete's Pete's I'm trying to think oh. um, um, where have, yeah, where, where have all the flowers gone? Okay, that's a good one. Let's. That's another one. To everything. Yeah, those are two great ones. Okay. Well, yes. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Everyone, and we'll 
they ever learn? When will they ever learn? <laughs> when will they ever learn? Long time passing, where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. <laughs> Where have all the young men gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young men gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young men gone? God bless everyone. Where will they ever learn? Soldiers gone, long time passing. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long graveyards, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they? graveyard's gone. Long time passing. Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time ago. Where have all the graveyards gone? Got the flowers, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time everyone. When will they ever learn? Now, I wanted to say something, that there was a great educational philosopher named Maxine Green who said that imagination is, is the capacity to think of things as if they could be otherwise. To think of things as if they could be otherwise, okay? And we get imagination from the arts, whether it's reading a novel, whether it's from a poem, whether it's from a song, whether it's from a play or a film. So the arts are so important and we get, you know, imagination. And so we're thinking of a better world that might be here. And so it's okay to talk about it too, in between the songs, if anybody wants to say anything. There's a, a Bobby Kennedy quote like that, which was, you know, uh, some people look at the, at the way the world is and ask why. And I, I look at what could be and ask why not. Because so. Weed Seeger said that <laughs> songs are sneaky things. They creep over borders. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think sometimes we can get very stuck in the way things are. And it's very hard to step out of that and say, you know, there could be a possible better world, right? If we had a better distribution of wealth, if we get rid of all nuclear weapons, if we outlaw war. These are like utopian things that you don't hear talked about as much. Uh, uh, let's, on, on the same subject, yes. I want to set the record straight okay. about something else. Yes. 
We are not remnants of the 60s. We are, okay. <laughs> We're not even recycled remnants of the 60s. There are more people doing environmental work right now than ever before. There are more people making songs to change the world than ever before. We just have to be aware of where they are because they're trying to be heard. Joel, Joel is a songwriter, and I think it would be great if we had an opportunity to hear him do one of his songs. An original, a Joel original. Uh, yeah, Let's what, do it, what, okay? Yes. Okay. 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 Now this this is so old that Love Canal was in the news at the time. Okay. <laughs> All you have to do is substitute a couple of words. And this has a chorus. This is the way B wants it, right? He loves it like We're that, yes. Sing along. Okay. There is garbage in my kitchen. There's garbage in the sea. There are toxins in the reservoir absorbed by you and me. There is garbage all around us growing each and every day. Someday we'll learn a lesson there's no place called away. We've been jamming garbage underground, but now it's coming back. Past sins become carcinogens from every oozing stack. It doesn't take a genius to have the guts to say this can't go on if we're to live. There's no place called away. Here's the chorus. There's no place called away, despite what people say. There's only so much space on Earth. We're trashing it away. We're giving up our future. We've got to keep it clean. There is no separation where we're going and where we've been. Politicians hesitate to corporate control as if getting reelected is their first and only goal. Humankind has one priority. It's living every day and preserving our environment. There's no place called away. There's no place called away, despite what people say. There's only so much space on Earth, we're trashing it away. We're giving up our future, we've got to keep it clean. There is no separation where we're going and where we've been. Love Canal was the beginning of future tidal waves. How many will we tolerate before we live in caves? A president can't pardon toxic waste and then go and pray. It's time to put that myth to bed. There's no place called away. Sing with me. No place called away Despite what people say There's only so much space on earth And we're trashing it away We're giving up our future We've got to keep it clean There is no separation Where we're going and where we've been That's right 
Congress tables an amendment. We put off a date or two. We post we, we postpone priorities. Yes, I know. I've I've got a few. <laughs> We go someplace else for dinner. Let's just hope there's not a day where we realize our nightmare and like garbage go away. There is garbage in my kitchen. You've been to my kitchen. There is garbage <laughs> in the sea. There are toxins in the reservoir Absorbed by you and me There is garbage all around us It's growing each and every day Let's hope we've learned a lesson There's no place called away No, 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 no well, There's no place called away Despite what people say so much space on earth and we're trashing it away we're giving up our future and we've got to keep it clean there is no separation where we're going and where we've been there's no separation Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful. I am feeling right now so hopeful and so cozy and so connected to everybody here. And I'm feeling a real sense of community. And I want to just express that. And um, I want to give them up. Before we go to the next song, let's maybe someone else, anybody could express what you're feeling right now. Let's, the op let's open the microphone to this wonderful space at Judson Church, this gathering of the New York City Friends of Clearwater. And anybody, it's an open mic to say what you think and feel at this moment in our time, in our history, in this meeting, to introduce yourself to the public, to show that you have a voice to say, hey, this is what I think, this is what I feel. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can. The, the microphone is your... Goodness knows we have a lot of voices on our media saying this and saying that, and we have think tanks, and we have talking points, and we have talking heads, but now we have people. We have real people in this community, and if you're not ready to talk now, that's okay too. But we'll come back. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from the people. We feel... Uh, one of the things yes. That we okay. That we do like to do, uh, it, you know, it, this part of the evening is actually to, to do like a round robin of, of, of songs. That's, that's one of the things that people really look forward to. Okay. So uh, maybe we could uh, sort of continue on in that fashion. Okay. I know, um, of course, Joel is... Uh, wonderful performer and singer and, and uh, uh, you know, Nancy and, and Forrest and a lot of people here like to do that. So, so maybe... Should we sit in the circle or should we well, still that's, be... That's, we, that's what do people frequently, do? Yeah. Frequently what, what we okay. do is, is uh, gather in, in, in the circle. circle. Can we continue to film while that's happening? Sure, why not? Okay. this song. Mm. Should we start from the beginning? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is a great song. Yeah, yeah. Let's start is there another the lyrics? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. you know this one too? I like this song. It's a great yeah, song. This is wonderful. We'll have, we'll have okay. Yes. Please. Okay, quick, quick uh, announcement. Wait, announcement? Go ahead. Public service announcement. Uh, there has never been a better time to be a member of New York City Friends of Clearwater. We urge everybody to not only, the people always say, oh, I'm already a member. They think that they're a member of Hudson River Sloop Clearwater, which is also a very good idea. 
but the local sloop clubs, there's eight, local, eight sloop clubs up and down the river, and we want you, if you live near New York City, to also join New York City Friends of Clearwater. But the best thing is on every year, we get a, a, a member sale on the Hudson River, and I know this is going to be taped, so who knows if it's going to be before or after, but uh, July 29th of this year, we're going to be having a sale on the Clearwater. Uh, the, um, why don't you read the little blurb here? Okay. We're, we're, um, this, the, right. about, about this. It says, it is our river, an important resource to keep clean and healthy. It didn't just get cleaner over the years by itself. There were many water activists who worked with education and legislation to make it happen. Pete Seeger and the Clearwater led the way. Now it is our turn. Join us. All right. So, yes. So we, we urge you all to, uh, there's still a few seats left on the Clearwater for the sale. So uh, go to nycfc.annualsale, S-A-I-L, at gmail.com. And uh, email us and tell us if you'd like to come, and we'd love to have you. We're going to try to make it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, our next song is Big Yellow Taxi. This is a Joni Mitchell song, and it's an environmental song. Okay. Okay. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. With a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot. Oh, no, no, we seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Pop, 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 sure. Pop, 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 pop. They took all the trees and put them in a tree museum. <laughs> And they charge the people a dollar and a half just to see it. That's cheap. <laughs> don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Pop, 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 shoo. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, farmer, farmer, put away that DDT now. Give me spots on my apples, but leave me the birds and the bees. Please, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Pop, 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 shoo, pop, 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 pop. Late last night, I heard the screen door slam. And a big yellow taxi took away my old man. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot. Pop, 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 pop. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Paved paradise and put up a parking lot. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Woo! Oh, that's wonderful. You have a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Have you sung professionally? Not really, not for money. Yeah. <laughs> have you thought about it? I have thought about it. I could see you up there. I mean, honestly, you've got gorgeous, really beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. Wow. No Broadway? Up? No, not for me. I actually saw Bruce Springsteen on Broadway, though, really? last week. No kidding. How was it? Oh, very, very nice. Aww. Very heartwarming. And he was really telling stories also. Yes. Yes, he was telling his life story. Talked about his hometown growing up. Yes, and oh. his family. and. Oh. I just saw a piece of it on the Academy Awards. He, yes, that he was gave a little piece, piece of it. Was that yeah. the one when Robert De Niro uh, uh, used the F word? I think I when he, he introduced that out, I heard that he had a big um, introduction that was edited out from television, so I didn't see it. 
I wish I did, but I did. So this musical part is always a part of your group meetings. Then. Yes. And it's a grand tradition of Pete Seeger, right? <laughs> did you know Pete Seeger? You know, I didn't. I got to see him one time before he died. Yeah. Where did you? Where was this? This was like right around 42nd Street, and he was singing. He was like 92, but he was singing, and he said, "Everybody harmonize." So I tried to harmonize. <laughs> He you was, were right there, though. You yeah, tried. Like a small group of people. I was lucky to see him. These guys, though. Did you like see Pete Seeger? Right? Very briefly. Pete Seeger said that um, songs, like people, when people hear people talk, they might tune it up. But when they make songs, that makes people listen more. Songs attract people's attention. And the words to the songs, that gets people thinking more about things that they might be bored listening to people just talking. What were some so, of the great songs from the 60s, like Imagine, John Lennon? Oh, there, there were yeah. so many. I mean, there's more than we can recall right now. Just yeah. a word about Pete Seeger. Okay. Um, I had the pleasure of uh, spending time at his footstep a number of times at, oh, at the People's Music Network. There's an organization I'd like to know, have you know about. Okay. Uh, think of all the activ activists, oh, not all, but many of the activists and artists who were inspired to uh, better things and to write about that and change the world through their art. There's actually an organization, and I, I invite people to find out about the People's Music Network, peoplesmusic.org. Uh, you check it out. Uh, we have gatherings twice a year, once in the winter and once in the, in the summer at a summer camp here on the East Coast. But Pete used to go all the time, and the, one way the, the organization made its money is to have a Friday night uh, show on the winter concert, and, and Pete would always play, and of course people would come to see Pete, so the organization lived for a while, but now we're on our own and we're doing quite well, we're doing all right. But PMN is the name of the, the group, so find out about it if you're interested in this music, or to find out more musicians like this who do this kind of thing, you know, and, and believe in things. It's nice to be with people who believe things. People's what network? People's Music Network. People's Music Network. I'll, I'll look in. So I, feel like we're, I feel like we're on Channel 13, one of those. I'm going to say, okay, now send your donations yeah. now. But. Actually, no, no. Send, send yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are the greatest Important presence. Your presence, at this point. presence. Uh, your presence is the present, right? That's true. You got another song there, Joel? Oh, well, yes. What about a song? You know what? Since I would love it for our audience, something popular, something that our audience oh, could really, is. you Actually, know. Actually, this is rather unpopular, but... Uh, okay, <laughs> well... Give me an E. Uh, mm. The ice caps are all shrinking. In our global lapse of thinking, the effects are being felt, so let it melt, let it melt, let it melt. <laughs> the sea level is rising, <laughs> but you can't say it's surprising. These are the cards we dealt, so oh, let it melt, let it melt, let it melt. The science is very clear. An irreversible time is near. The impacts will be severe. So we all have a lot to fear. Our future prospect is dimming. So I hope you take up swimming on the land where we once dwelt. Let it melt. Let it melt. Wait a minute. Don't let it melt. Woo! Woo! Joel, Andy, and I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> He's following Springsteen on Broadway, by the way. <laughs> now, um, the Mamas and the Papas was also a wonderful band, and they had that there mellow lots, sound. Lots of, there was a lot of great music, and there was yeah. a lot of great music that we barely got a chance to hear. You know, like, think about it. Most paint, painters, most musicians, they're applying their craft, they believe in what they're doing, and you don't know who they are. So there are a lot of great songs that you might know about that you might not even know who wrote them. So I'm reading a book now by Tolstoy called What is Art? I highly recommend this book. It's one of his lesser known works. It's a nonfiction book. And one of the things he talks about is the power of art that is simple, mm 
and that can be felt by a lot of people yes. and that's not overly sophisticated yes. but the humble people can get it yes. and he said that art has a way to bring people together to unite people to create like a brotherhood of man a uh, sisterhood you know to bring people together it's like all the people who have experienced the art in the past and the present are somehow united through that feeling, that emotion of, of, of the art. And, art. and artists and torture them. Yeah. And I want to make a public service announcement that as of now, I think the Trump administration has had the least amount of art over any, any present. No. I don't, he doesn't laugh that much. I don't think he can. No. It looks like he That's can't creepy. smile. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So anyway, how about uh, Turn, 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 one of my favorites. It's a good song. If, if you know the to everything, turn turn, 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 turn. Do we have music for that? Or? OK, let's see. We we'll start? I don't remember all the words. I don't know all the words yeah. either, folks. Maybe we shouldn't venture into this territory. OK. We, we can songs. stumble through it a little no, bit. No, know your words well before you start singing. Good you advice. This one, I don't know what if else? anybody knows, it's a beautiful song okay. by Buffy St. Mary called Seeds of Brotherhood. Mm, I don't know it. You got chords? Um, I just unfortunately just, no. Just, just, okay. Right, okay. Okay. It's time to open your eyes, take a look outside and all around, to north and south, to up and down. The weather is right, the time is here, there'll never be a better year for brotherhood to take its root, to bloom its blossom and sprout its shoot. Open, open up your eyes, it's time to find the place to hoe, to find the place to plant your row where the seeds of love can grow and grow your heart's the perfect spot you know it's time to clean your garden plot of sticks and stones and other old rot time to plant a brand new world where promises keep and halves unfurl to young and old to boy and girl to rich and poor to woman and man to black and white and gold and tan let the sun shine in your face to everyone of every race. La da 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 ba da ba 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 da da da. La ba 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 da. That song is from the '60s. It's an old, old song that a lot of people don't know. May I sing an a cappella song on peace? Okay. Here we go. Okay. There must be lights burning brighter somewhere. Got to be birds flying higher in a sky more blue. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk hand in hand, tell me why, oh why, oh why can't that dream come true? Bum -ba -da -da -da. Oh why, Bum -ba -da -da. there must be peace and understanding sometime. Strong winds of promise that will blow away the doubt and fear if I can dream of a warmer sun where hope keeps shining on everyone tell me why oh why oh why won't that sun appear we're lost in the cloud with too much rain we're trapped in a world there's trouble with pain, but as long as a man has a strength to dream, he can redeem his soul and fly, he can fly. Deep in my heart, there's a trembling question. Still I am sure that the answer, the answer's gonna come somehow out there in the dark. There's a beckoning candle, and while I can think, while I can walk, while I can stand, while I can talk, while I can dream, please let my dream 
come true. <laughs> right now. Oh, let it come true right now. Woo! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Little Elvis Presley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we saw the documentary, the new documentary called The King on Elvis, which is playing at the IFC. And I highly recommend this movie because this film makes a comparison to the rise and fall of Elvis and the rise and fall of America. And it says that America may be in the overweight, drug addicted stage of Elvis, about to have. I don't know. Uh, the colonel. They could be the bankers, I guess, right? Would be the colonel. Maybe Trump is the colonel. I don't know. <laughs> so we have five minutes left. You want to close us out on a classic Pete Seeger tune? What, what is something that people know? Yes. Yeah. Be a Pete Seeger tune. Or, or, or yeah. yeah. How about a Phil Oates How about tune? this land is this Yo, land is my yes, land. Like that. That's a great one. Let's do it. That's a classic. Okay. Your land. This land is your land. California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me everybody come on everybody come on yeah okay <laughs> Don't remember. Who knows the words? Somebody. <laughs> what I wanted you to say. It's me for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. No trespassing, but on the other side, it didn't say nothing. That side was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest. To the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. This is your land. <laughs> this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, the Redwood Forest, the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Nobody living can ever stop me as I go walking this freedom highway. Nobody living can make us turn back because this land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California. Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Oh. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. Wow, this was wonderful. Woo. <laughs> we are with the New York City Friends of Clearwater at Judson Memorial Church with my darling wife, Claudia Canasto. My name is John Braden. We co-produced this show. I want to say one thing about the power of love. If it wasn't for the love of my wife, Claudia, we wouldn't have a show. You need to have someone who loves you, who cares about you, believes in your biggest dreams, okay? Love is a power in the world. Paolo Freire said we need to teach for a world in which it's easier to love. And I think music helps us to become more loving people, too. Yeah. The power of song, that was the name of the movie, wasn't it? Uh, yes, 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 yes.
So you guys be strong and keep on doing what you're doing, and uh, we're going to make this world a better place right, and have fun doing it, right? That's right. We're all in the same boot. Okay. I want an infinity gauntlet. <laughs> Not okay. something else. God bless you, and have a good night. Take care. Bye. <laughs> okay. I have videos on YouTube. All right. Good work. <laughs> If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land, I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters, oh, oh, oh. If I had a bell, if I had a bell, ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the morning, ring it in the evening, ring it in the evening, all over, all over this land, ring out danger, ring out danger, ring out a warning, ring out a warning, ring out the warning. Sing it in the evening. Oh, 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 I got a bell and I got a song and I got a song.